Okay. Hi there. Welcome back to uh, Visual Basic Tutorials. Um, someone asked me regard uh, about uh, communication between two processes. Uh, Windows provide many ways uh, for you to communicate, to perform communication between processes. <coughs> One of these uh, uh, methods is uh, named pipes. Now, uh, the figure that you see right now um, is actually very similar to networking. In networks, uh, uh, if you are using the internet, usually there is a server that will wait for a connection or a request and you will open the, the browser, which is the client in this case, and uh, connect to the server. At that moment, the server will send you the page. Uh, pipes work very similarly. So basically, you have the server here it's gonna create a pipe and wait for a connection from the client as soon that connection is established the server is gonna send information to the client okay so to demonstrate this we need two programs uh, because of that I'm gonna use uh, two instances of Visual Studio this is gonna be the first one let me rename it uh, so this is gonna be server server there we go and this is gonna be rename client there we go okay so uh, let me get to the first one so this is the server and uh, let me click on the form and rename it as well rename server form okay do you want to rename it yes <coughs> so you can see now this is a server form okay and this is gonna be Um, create pipe and wait okay <coughs> so what are we gonna do dimension server pipe as uh, system io pipes dot uh, you have a synchronous pipe server and the client and there is a standard one uh, the difference is that this one allows you to send or receive information asynchronously, so your program doesn't have to wait, it, it can just work uh, and do other stuff while waiting. Okay, this is useful if the speed of the two programs are uh, different and you don't care about synchronization much. Uh, but in our case, we want to do things a simple way, so we're going to use this one. Uh, it's named, pi named uh, Pipe Server. <coughs> so, what happens here? Uh, we are going to say server pipe equal a new system io pipes uh, this is going to be named server stream and you need to provide a name so you're going to give it the name boo okay um, and then we said that the server should wait so server pipe dot wait for connection that's it and whenever uh, Whenever that happens, we're gonna display a message box, MSG box, server established connection. Well, usually you don't do that, you don't display a message box, but uh, this is just to, you know, uh, just to tell us what's, ha what's going on. And uh, next, we want to send some information. So, it will, so what we're gonna send is actually a couple of bytes or some message so where's that show me where the text box is this is uh, a text box there we go okay okay this is a text box and now we are gonna put a button here and uh, this is gonna be what send message okay so, how do you send the information? Well, um, okay, all you have to do is call the send, uh, sorry, write the write method. Okay, and now the write method is uh, for the pipe, and the write method ex expects to uh, you to provide a buffer of byte. How do you get the buffer of byte? Well, we have our text uh, 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 and it's a, a string, not a byte. So we need to convert that. The conversion is very simple. Dimension B as byte equals system text 
encoding get encoding you could get some kind of encoding if you're using chinese or something that would be helpful uh, to encode it in the correct format Two, five, six, and get uh, bytes there we go and we pass the string that we want to convert to bytes so this is going to be text box one dot text there we go and uh, okay I guess you can hear the bells of uh, our neighbors. Okay, so this is going to be the offset. We start from zero and we want to send the whole message. So b dot length. There we go. Okay, and uh, this is the server side. So first we're going to establish the connection. Second we're going to send the information. Very straightforward. Okay, so we finished the server side. Okay maybe we could uh, also close it properly okay and uh, say close okay double click here server pipe Don't close there we go and uh, that's it okay so now we are gonna do something very similar on the client so Let's go back here. Let's go to this form. We're gonna rename it. It's gonna be client form this time. Okay, yes. Click here. Go over here. This is gonna be what? This is gonna be client. This is gonna be, click on that, connect to server. Okay. <clears throat> and now we're going to define this dimension client pipe as uh, system IO pipes. Where's that? Dot. Um, we have the name the client stream. Here we go. Okay, so client pipe equals um this is gonna be new system io pipes named client stream uh, stream okay no, I mean pipe client stream this is good <coughs> now it's important that, that you give the same name for the pipe <coughs> I'm sorry it's important to give the exact same name for the uh uh, for the pipe okay and uh, yeah so here we are going to not only connect but we will we will enter an infinite loop of reading information okay do while client client pipe dot um, Let's see. It's connected. Okay. And so while we are connected, um, yeah. Well, actually, you could. Well, wait a minute. Just. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Maybe I could put that to one. <coughs> okay. So we need a way to identify. Uh, sorry. Do while. Um, do loop while client pipe is connected okay <coughs> so we'll wait until the connection ends so the mission b is byte so client pi dot um read okay and here we're gonna read b uh, zero 
p.link. Okay, obviously we need to create some kind of big buffer, 0 to 1000. Okay, so here we are gonna read the information. Um, okay, so read the mission, preserve, 50 minutes. Mission L as integer equals here. Read the mission, preserve b0 to l minus 1 and then what do we have is msg box system dot text encoding encoding yet encoding windows 1256 what's that dot uh, get string and i'm gonna pass the byte array over here and uh, this is pretty much the client, so this the client will wait endlessly until the connection is, is gone. Okay, and uh, that's it. Okay, and the uh, client five. Close. Okay, there we go. So now we have both of the, those programs, and we are ready. Okay, so I'm gonna run the server. Here we go. Okay, this is the server, and I'm gonna run the client as well. And this is the client. So create pipe and wait. And now the client is gonna connect. And uh, there we go. Let me see. Um. Okay, I forgot. So basically, I didn't give instruction to the client to connect. So client pipe dot connect. There we go. Yeah, I forgot that. You need to make a con uh, issue a connection command. So there we go again. Now remember, the server is waiting for connection still. So connect. So you can see here, server established connect connection. Now this one, I'm going to say hello. And set message into the pipe. And now the other one, the client, received the message. That's okay bye bye send the message and the other one receives it now i'm gonna close the connection and uh, yeah the connection is closed okay so again i will try this again so i create a pipe and this one's waiting i connect to the server now the server saying that the server established a connection that's okay and now the client is waiting so you can see that the window is not responding because it's an infinite loop waiting for confirmation so i'm gonna send this message here we go okay and uh example send another message okay it's being displayed here and now i'm gonna close it okay press ok and now this one is free okay so what we did is pretty much uh, communication between two programs. This is the first one, there's the second one, and uh, it's not that difficult. Okay? I hope you'll find this useful. Uh, if you want to find the source code for uh, these two programs, uh, check out the website. Okay? If you have notes, send them to uh, notes uh, at uh, mk-self.com. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.